Alrighty, folks. This is Beldeo. This is a test. And this is the Dragonfly. This is the craziest plane I've ever seen. Not surprisingly, it's designed by Bertrutan. Not surprising at all. This particular one is brought to us by Lionheart Creations. I have never flown this before. This is literally the first time I'm hopping in this thing. And we are here at Page Municipal Airport. So we're going to fly around the desert and hop through the Grand Canyon, provided, of course, I don't, like, blow this thing up on the first pass. Whew. I do love my unusual birds, and this certainly does fit the category. Look at that tailwheel. Dang. This thing is serious business. Wow. I'm not even going to look at the static camera shots just yet until we get acquainted with the aircraft. I love the chosen font that they have for the registration number as well, too. That is really cool. All right. Let's hop in. So this is the office. And first thing I can say in VR, visibility is incredible. But this seat, holy crap, this seat feels like I should be laying on my bed and flying this. Like, seriously, who has long enough legs for this? But then I look at the rudder pedals and I see how far back they are. And I'm like, okay, so you really are meant to stretch your legs out in this thing. This is a chaise lounge flyer. This is not a sit up in your seat flyer. This is... Like, you're totally relaxing flying this thing. Wow. <laughs> wow. And that is not a slight on um, Lionheart Creations or anything. I'm pretty impressed. I'm just wowed by it. So, I haven't read the manual, obviously. Literally just fired up MSFS, hopped in picked a spot on a planet, and here we are. I'm wondering if this is intuitive to fly. Well, I can already tell you I like the fact that the stick is on the right. That's pretty cool. It's got fighter pilot vibes. And then, of course, our throttle is that little knob there. Mixture is already in. We can actually pull it out. I'm going to pull it back in here. All right. Airspeed indicator. Looks like the end of the green zone is 160. So we'll keep that speed in mind. Any faster than 220 and we may get into trouble. I'm assuming this is pitch. This is probably flaps. Yeah, these are definitely flaps. Okay. So we've got our flaps there. Where are the flaps? That is the real question. I think they're on the top plane. This thing's like an X-Wing, which is obviously why I chose the um, the color that I'm flying here, the yellow one. This is just crazy. I'm not even going to lie. This is nuts. All right. Um, let's see. Battery. Okay, so the switch is rocker. All right. That's good to know. Avionics is down there as well. So we got nav, strobe, pump. Um, actually, where is the fuel switch? Should probably get my thing there. Okay, anti ice engine. What are you, little switch? You are fuel switch pump. Okay. Well, we're just going to leave you on. Because that might be good to have. Auxiliary tank transfer, landing lights, strobe lights. Nav lights. Okay. Well, I'm good with nav. Actually, wait. Let me use my... There we go. No point setting switches for it on the verbal if I don't use a verbal, right? Does this open? I'm assuming it does. Maybe not. Oh, this does open. Look at that! the opposite way from an X-Wing. It's more like an uh, F-35, but damn, that's good. I like that. All right, let's close it back up. 
starting this thing's going to get interesting, though. Look at that. I've even got a little oil light there. That's cool. That's cool. Wow. You guys think my head moves normally whenever I'm just talking. Imagine me taking this all in for the first time. I feel sorry for you watching this video. All right. Uh, Magneto. Right. Left. Both. And on. Clear. Okay, we are on. Avionics master switch on. Transponder will set you to. Can we set you to standby? We can. Just got nothing. One, two, zero, zero. Yeah, I got nothing. I got nothing. This appears to be an autopilot down here, too. This thing's got autopilot. I'm a little surprised. I'm really a little surprised. All right. So. Trim. I'm assuming that's uh, probably aileron trim and elevator trim or pitch trim. Wow. Wow. All right, let me set my altimeter while I'm at it. Where did the barometric pressure go? Hmm, well, maybe we should contact somebody. Uh, oh, KPGA traffic. Okay, well, we'll do automated weather first. Kilo public off alpha, automated weather observation 2100 Zulu. Hmm, Wind, two zero seven two at, zero six. Seven at six. Visibility okay. one zero. Sky condition clear. Temperature three four C dew point. One zero C altimeter two nine or eight four. Two nine or eight four. Alright, that is set. Traffic. Um I'm gonna just go announce taxi and see where it tells us to go. Kilo Papa Golf Alpha Traffic November seven zero Alpha Golf Grotto is taxiing to runway one five. Runway 15, okay, so we're taking off basically to the south then. Alright, um, yeah, this is going to be interesting, the taxi. It's a tail dragger, but it's even weirder than that. And look at that. You see that, right? I'm moving the rudder pedals right now, and the stick is moving. But if I move the stick, nothing moves except the stick. Oh boy! Well, you're about to embark on this journey with me. Oh, look, there's an F-15 over there. Parking brakes are now off. She is nice and quiet, though. I'll give her that. Wow. Okay, except in turns. In turns, very noisy. Very noisy. Holy crap. And I'm kind of hesitant to even press the brakes because I don't know how this thing has a tendency of flipping over. Alright, taxiway, where are you? I think this is the taxiway here. Now, I do recall Lionheart Creations on their Facebook page saying something about this thing gets really squirrely on takeoff. One thing that I noticed, which is my only complaint so far, um, the center of gravity seems way off on this. Like, I had to slide the center of gravity slider pretty much all the way to the left just to get this thing in proper center of gravity. I'm not sure how that translates. I'm not sure if that's true to life. If this plane is just weird like that or what. I really don't know. And I would ask why there's a Bell 47 parked there, but you know what? I'm not even going to question it. It looks good there. It looks like it belongs there. And I'm okay with this. Not so keen on the people sticking out the bottom, but hey, nothing's perfect. 
All right, so we still have a little ways to go. This is 725, so why didn't they tell us to take off on 25? Although I have no idea what the takeoff run needed for this bird is, so I'm just going to accept the fact that we're flying to the south and it'll probably be a bit of a crosswind. Well, no probably about it. There will definitely be a bit of a crosswind. I'm really not sure what to think just yet, Lionheart. I mean, I love the unusual aircraft, and I'm going to tell you right now, I'm in love with this thing just because it is hideously unusual. And I mean that out of love because I am that guy. When everybody else would be like, yeah, you can pay me to get in this plane, I see something like this and I'm like, I need it. I need it now. So yeah, I'm not going to complain at all. At all. However, we will see how it flies. And depending on how docile or lack thereof she is, will determine if I take her down into the Grand Canyon. All right, I am slowing down here because I don't want to flip. She does feel a little tail heavy. I'm okay with that though. Let's get our landing lights on. Wait, landing lights control the transponder. Is that right? Did I just see that right? Hold on. Let me let me set myself up properly at the end of runway 15. Because I need to do that again. I'm pretty certain that what just happened here in my little Rebel X-Wing was the landing light switch controls the transponder. Holy crap. It certainly does. And what is this that just jumped? Is that my ammeter, I guess? I think it is. I think it is my ammeter. Fuel. We are full. While temperature looks good, while pressure looks good, I don't see any indicators to tell me what's normal and what's not, except of course my volts, but you know what, I'm okay with more volts than normal. There's only so many volts you can draw. Alright, so now that we are here, Kara, our missing co-pilot, will now announce that we are going to take off. And I guess we will depart straight out. Kilo Papa Golf Alpha Traffic November 70 Alpha Golf Bravo taking off runway 7 straight out departure. Alright, now's probably a good time to look at the outside cameras, the static cameras before we take off, so let's do that. So we're back in this camera, of course, and I can't get over that tail wheel. That's just wild how that's placed there. Wow. So if I... Well, obviously it's not going to work because I'm in this view, but if I switch to this. So rudder definitely operates that. I don't see any of the other control surfaces moving, but we definitely saw the stick moving inside the cockpit. I'm going backwards in the lineup of uh, cameras. I like this camera though, I might just keep it on this. Whoa, here's our landing gear shot. Why am I angled this way though? That kind of doesn't make much sense. We should be angled straight. This is kind of an odd angle, but I guess this would be good for like um, thumbnails for videos if I'm flying. We'll keep that one in mind. Here's the back of the top of the X-Wing. So this is even more curious. All right, so control surfaces here. So as I'm moving the elevator up and down, control surface, this is changing here. And what is that? A little bit of clipping going on there, Lionheart elevators and this is the aileron so wow 
this aircraft is all sorts of weird. So your ailerons are on the upper wings, your elevators are on the lower wings. Rudder, of course, is where rudder belongs, so no complaints with that. Man, this is going to be one hell of a bird to fly. Yeah, there's no tail surface there. Everything's at the front. Only thing we've got is a rudder. That's it. Kind of nuts. I love the little EAA patch, too. See, I should have had this for Oshkosh. Damn it, Lionheart. You should have given me an extra special preview version back then. I would have shown it off for Oshkosh. As it is, we only did a couple of chill videos on Oshkosh. And I'm assuming this is another one of your standard from the back shots. We'll keep it on this for now. All right, they did clear us to take the active, so I'm going to push us forward. We'll go back into the cockpit for the actual takeoff, but I just want to kind of take the active and see if I can still navigate her okay in this camera. I almost wish they did a purple one, but you know what? Um, this color is growing on me. You may have noticed that is, unless you're colorblind. No offense to colorblind people, but just stating a fact. All of the lettering that I have on my videos, whether it be the pop-up commentary, the titles, the credits, they are all this color of yellow. So this kind of works. I like this. Of course, if I decide to use this as a title shot, I can't put a title on there, otherwise it'll get lost, but that's kind of cool. All right, so let's hop inside. Okay, so we're ready to go. Landing lights on. Fuel pump is already on. Mixture is full. Um, 158, 158. That's where I need to go. Okay. Transponder. Let's go ahead and turn you to alt now. Okay, you are now on ALT. We'll worry about autopilot and all that crap later. Panel lights and dome lights. Uh, I think our panel lights are on. Dome lights not on, but not worried about it. Didn't exactly see where the landing lights are, though. Let's, let's take a look at that really quick. And while we're at it, I'm going to trim up just a touch, just to be on the safe side. All right, right about there. That's what? One notch trim or in between. All right, where's the landing lights on this puppy? See a nice uh, starboard light there, pretty shade of green. Nice port light there and a strobe. Landing light, you are on the wheel, on both wheels. Okay, well that's kind of cool. That's an innovative way of doing it. At least it is until you break your landing gear. All right, brakes down, throttles up. I was also told on the Lionheart website to not go full power for takeoff. Gradually ease it up, so I'm going to ease it up to about 85% throttle. As soon as the tail starts coming up, we got to do the rudder tangle. That crosswind coming in there. What's our airspeed doing? Okay, we should be cleared to take off. Ooh! Well, she's a little wobbly goblin, is what she is. Alright, so we'll keep it at 85% throttle for now as we pass over Paige and the Page Municipal Airport, of course. We're gonna make a left-hand turn. You can start to see the Grand Canyon off in the distance there. It's a really nice area. It's so much better done than Tonopah. I've really wanted to show you Tonopah, and of course I will, because of course, um, that's where the Tom Cattery across Sierra the USA Golf, series Alpha starts. Traffic, November 70, Alpha Golf, Bravo 1 miles. South 4,500 feet inbound to land runway 15. 
Wow, I forgot we were that high up. If I let her go, she wants to go left. All right, Kara, did you just clear us for landing? No, baby girl. No, 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 no. No, we're not landing. Not yet, anyway. She's so efficient. Okay, so she naturally wants to roll left. Uh, can we trim it out, bruh? Let's try to trim it out, bruh. Actually, you know what? Let's head uh, north first, and then we'll try to trim it out, bruh. All right, so there's the airport, and there's uh, Lake Powell, I believe it's called. Could be wrong. It's been forever since I've been down here. Ironically, the last time I was down here was in the Tom Cattery Across the USA series. All right, so we're trimming to the right. Okay, level out again. All right, now she wants to turn right, so we'll trim a little left. All right, I think it might be a matter of micro movements now. But yeah, we've pretty much got her stable here. She is just over 90 knots. It's not very fast, obviously. But then I only have our, what do you call it, throttle at 85%. I could lean the mixture, though. In fact, we might do that. Is there an EGT in this? There's no EGT in this. Okay, so we're going to need to go by RPMs. RPMs should go up as we start trimming. Or leaning, I should say. Okay, so that just gave us, uh, what is that, 1800 on RPM. Can I go anymore? Right, that's probably as good as it's going to get, it's about 1900 on RPM. Alright, but I'm alright with that. Okay, so there's the dam check that out in a second here but I want to do some more circuits around here because it's such a pretty area surprisingly well let's face it not surprisingly very easy to fly very very easy to fly I say not surprisingly because of course it is a Rutan design and that seems to be a hallmark for anything that Rutan makes. It looks weird as all get out, but it's relatively easy to fly, if you know what you're doing. I'm not going to say that, you know, any fool can do it, because obviously there have been crashes, and not all of them have been pilot-induced. But with that having been said, she feels comfortable. It's really the best thing that I can say about this bird. Right now, she feels comfortable. And remember, I've never tried this before at all. You are literally in here with me first time I'm getting into the cockpit. All right, now I feel like I have to do a little bit of shenanigans here to show off. So we're pitched up and we're gonna go left. Whoa, the roll rate is nice. Let's try it to the right. Why not? Oh yeah, now this is pod racing. <laughs> I'm glad to see the dam is represented. It wasn't very well represented in FSX. All right, I'm gonna head to the north and let's see. We are at 5,800. We'll go to 5,500 and do a loop. Alley up. All right, pitch rate is bad. Pitch rate is really bad. I'm gonna give it full power. And we are gonna come out of the sky like a hammerhead. Okay, so we need a lot more speed before we attempt doing a loop here. Wonder if we can go onto that bridge. 
You know we're gonna try it. This is my channel. This is how we roll. You know we're going to try it. Whether we pull out of it is another story. Thank you, Asobo, for not baking that bridge like solid underneath. All right, now we've got some airspeed here and I can really hear the rattles. Audio has been superb so far. Of course, we can see Asobo's curved water there. And somebody needs to go through and get rid of these uh, black shadows all over the canyon wall here. Won't kill you to take orthos from different times of the day. I'm just saying. I'm gonna go to the outside view here. Oh yeah. Now we are in an X-Wing. Need a couple of TIE fighters to shoot down. Pew pew pew. Pew 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 pew. action here because if I remember correctly we have got a hairpin turn coming up. Let's switch to a different camera real quick. Ooh. Well this is nice. I wish I'd have seen this before. Alright, we're gonna go with this camera. No, this camera. There we go. Here we go. This is the money shot right here folks. Black walled canyons. You know, I kind of prefer the other side. Just saying. Oh, this could be our money shot here. Look at that. It's a beautiful thing. Oh yeah, that right there, that's our money shot. Well, so far she seems to be handling the Grand Canyon nicely, but we're only going at like 100 and 120 knots. We're not really, not really breaking any speed records here. And this is the hairpin turn, by the way, which doing it in this seems to be anticlimactic. If we were in the Tomcat, that's a whole different story. I know a certain Nova Wing 24 who would absolutely love if we could replicate our Grand Canyon run in a Tomcat like we did in FSX for that one episode of Tomcattery. This could be the bird to do it in, too. Alright, let me see how much power we've got. If I go to 90% throttle... Whoa, what a jump in RPM! Okay, so now we're at 2500 RPM and easily 150 or 2600 rpm now and bear in mind i've got my mixture leaned a bit here oh i gotta remember the pitch is bad on this okay okay nice birdie pretty birdie good birdie wow So yeah, I just need for Asobo to do something with these canyon walls here because I'm pretty certain that the Grand Canyon does not have black walls. It does make it look a hell of a lot more threatening, but it's probably not realistic. And I'm going to put my, what do you call it, my throttle back down at 85% there because I'm not feeling very confident with that RPM continually going up. Let's go back to the outside view. I gotta find that one camera shot again. Alright. We go this way. This way. This way. This way. There it is. What I might do, Lionheart, I know you're probably not used to my ways. I am notorious for changing around camera views and then sending the developer the modified CFG is what I would like to see. I want that belly cam first and then like these two back shots, this one and the other one. 
and then maybe like the side shots or the landing gear shots. That's how I would do it. But that's just me. And like I said, I'm notorious for switching around cameras.cfg so that I can get the kick-ass cinematic shots. Oh, I think that's the airport that I was supposed to go to. Let's check the map. It's around here somewhere. Uh, Euler? Is that it? No, that's it. No, that's not it. Well, where the hell am I? There is an airport right here. Uh, according to this, it is a little farther down. Okay, well, we're all right. Oh, wait, no, there's, um, what is that? I want to say that's called the Navajo Bridge. Could be wrong, but I think that's the name of it. But, yeah, the airport's going to be closer there. All right, so we're going to try and see if we can do a touch and go there. And then we'll head back to Page Municipal. I don't want this to be too long of a video, so instead of going through the canyons, we'll go over the canyons. And it looks like there's a cloud or a storm or whatever coming in. All right. Uh, what is this? Marble Canyon. That's what we want. That is what we want. Kara, I need you to do your thing. Select a runway. Let's go runway 2-1. One traffic November 70 Alpha Golf Bravo two miles northeast 4,000 feet inbound to land runway 21. Which is probably the direction we're facing. Yes, it most certainly is. But look at that. There is the bridge. I'm half tempted to go under the bridge, but I know me, I'm going to end up like crashing or something. When has that ever stopped me? Man, look at the scenery, though. With the exception of the black walls, this is pretty awesome. All right, I'm gonna power us down here. We'll figure out really soon when she stalls. Not liking that runway, though. Is that going uphill? Oh boy. Not only is it going uphill, it's also curving. Oh boy. This may be a bad idea. I'm just going to go out there and say it. This may be a very bad idea. Alright, we are at 70. Man, this is crazy. Remind me why I do this again? Oh, because I am crazy. Well, good news is we're down. Bad news is we're not stopping. Touch and go. That's kind of cool, though. Uh, that's kind of cool. I'm liking it. All right, let's give that power back, because I really want to see if this thing can go in a vertical and stay in a vertical. So we are at full power now. Max power. Los Angeles Center, November 70, Alpha Golf Bravo is tied one mile southwest of Lima for 13,600 feet. Request, flight following. By the time you request flight following, we will have done so many shenanigans. Alright, before we stall, I'm going to hammerhead us to the left. Alright, we're still climbing, mind you. I'm determined to do a loop. But I want to get some more altitude before I do this. So we're going to go up to about 7,000 feet. Oh, hello. Who invited you to the party? Lightning. I don't recall sending you an invite. Alright, so we're at 7,000 now. 
going to run along the canyon here. So we're going to bring her down to 6,000 at full power. So 6,000 feet is what we're aiming for. Hopefully we won't peak out before then. If it looks like we're going to, which we may, then I will pull the power back. But right about here is good. Pulling up, pulling up, pulling up, pulling up, pulling up. Full. Come on, baby. You can do it. You can do it. Okay, we're over the top. I'm really pulling hard on the stick here. Really pulling hard. Remember, pull the uh, throttle back down while I'm at it. Whoo! That was spicy. <laughs> that was actually pretty good, though. I like that. All right, so let's head back to Paige. And uh, we'll do like a bird's eye view of everything here. We'll go to the outside view. Am I dropping off in power here? Is my engine even on? I guess it is. There's an interesting power curve between 85% throttle and 90% throttle. That's a big, huge difference in power. Well, we're going to keep it here so that way we can get the page quickly. And we'll go back to the outside. Okay, so I suppose we should probably bring this bird in. Uh, we're still doing pretty good on gas, except for one minor detail. It looks like it's only drawing from the left tank. How do I get it to draw from the right? That is a real question, because I don't recall seeing any kind of um, fuel tank switch. I will, of course, need to read the manual, but... Is that why we do this switch here? Uh, we're just going to turn it on. See what it does. If my gas gauge starts equaling out, then I'll know I did the right thing. If it doesn't, well, it's been nice knowing you folks. So yeah, this is the quickie... Quickie 200 Dragonfly, or Q200, I think it's called. Really wonderful aircraft. Very unusual. If you're a fan of more traditional aircraft, whether they be GA or airliners or whatnot, I'm going to tell you right now, you will not enjoy this. For me, a fan of the unusual and the unexpected, I'm in love with this thing already. I'm definitely going to need to give it a full review, but for my first ever flight in it, oh hell yeah. Yeah, I definitely recommend you get it. It is currently available on um, Sim Market, that's where I got it from. 
I want to say it's going to be on Just Flight as well. I don't know if Lionheart has any deal with Orbix, but I imagine it will probably show up in the marketplace as well, which means for you Xbox guys, uh, you will be able to fly it on Xbox at some point. Alright, Kara, I need you to do something here. Nearest airport list, Page Municipal, select runway for landing, 15. Kilo Papa Golf Alpha Traffic November 70 Alpha Golf Bravo 4 miles northwest 5,900 feet inbound to land runway 15. I don't remember what our runway altitude was. Was it 4,500 or something along those lines? It seems like we're awfully high, but I'm thinking we can definitely lose the altitude and come in properly here. So I'm going to work with it. I love this area though. Even though it's, well, desert, the fact that we've got the lake here, which is really a reservoir, actually, if I'm not too mistaken. It is actually a reservoir. I don't believe it's a natural lake. But still, if you have water and you have desert, well, you got life. Can't just have desert. See, to me, water and desert, all of a sudden, that makes it a beach. Except I don't think this is salt water. All right, so we're going to bring her in. I'm trying to take it easy here because I really don't know how this thing behaves. And I'm learning as I go. I'm going to trim us up just a touch here. Now... The spool up time looks like it takes a little bit here, so I'm going to pull some power in and we'll do our approach at around, well, I'm thinking like 90, and that is knots, so 90 knots. Alright, we are kind of climbing though, so that could be bad. Why are there no Vazi lights here? Quick look outside. Not gonna lie, folks, this is not bad at all. Really not bad at all. Some minor, minor texturing or modeling anomalies that honestly I don't think Lionheart would have even noticed unless they were in VR and do what I do look around every nook and cranny of the aircraft. But other than that, this thing's damn near flawless. And for a bird as unusual as this, that, you know, pretty much everybody's going to want to look at, at least those of us who are interested in it, yeah, minor details, minor details. Alright, let's hop back in here. Oh, we're about to stall, too. Holy crap. We're, like, barely flying here. We're, we're going to keep it around 70 knots, thereabouts. So we'll have to do the throttle tango here. Kara, did you tell them we were on final? Kilo Papa Golf Alpha Traffic November 70 Alpha Golf Bravo is on final runway 15 to land. Oh yeah, I forgot about this little hill here. Alright, we're over the scrub. Wait, is that our Vazzy? I don't even know. Alright, let's bring her in. Power off. Passing the crosswind runway now. And we'll keep the power off as she settles her way down. Why is my stall horn coming on? I'm not trying to fly, I promise you. I promise you, I am not trying to fly. Yeah, we're not going to make that turn off. Okay, I think we're going to the end of the runway. It's the only downside is I can't see over the top. I mean, I know I can lean up, but it's going to look weird on the camera to you. 
but you know these are the things in VR here. I really feel like I should be flying this from like a chaise lounge or something. All right, we're slow enough. We should be able to make this turn off. I don't even know where the center line is anymore. I'm like, center line? What center line? I'm just glad I got it down in one piece for my maiden voyage. Clearly, this is a high speed turn off in the opposite direction. You know, sometimes I gotta wonder, Osobo, your building choices. When you substitute buildings, and I know it's not you in particular doing it, I know it's like the Black Shark AI and all that good jazz, but is there some rhyme or reason as to why they use these massively tall buildings that look like they should be at Kennedy Space Center? What's the story on that? Wish I knew. All right, I think this is where we were parked. No, that was where we were parked. See the F-15 down there? At least I think that's the F-15. Could be a Tomcat. All right, so we're gonna take the next intersection here. Not too shabby. Okay, for future reference, our current altimeter is uh, almost 4,300 feet above sea level. Oh yeah, that definitely looks like a Tomcat. We're gonna head over there. I like this thing. There's really not much more I can say about it, folks. As somebody who enjoys strange birds, this one really floats my boat. I'm finding myself falling in love with it the more I sit in this cockpit. And clearly that's not a Tomcat. That is an F-15. So he just moved spots on me is what he did because he was on the other side. Alright, let's see if I can make it onto one of these T's. Alright, right about here should be good. And we will park it right there. Perfect. Wow. Well, I will say this. For my very first flight, I am hugely impressed. I really like this bird. I really do. Alright, so let's get our transponder off. Put it back on standby there. And turn our landing light switch off. Our strobe, well, technically for me it's the beacon. But yeah, we got that off. Nav lights will turn you off. canopy. Noise doesn't seem to have changed, does it? Hold on, let me give it a little power. Yeah, I don't notice a difference in the engine noise with the canopy open. Lionheart, you might want to take a look at that, assuming you're watching. Alright, but other than that, this is pretty damn good. I like it. I'll take it. And I just realized I didn't even use the flaps at all. Seriously? Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's how good this aircraft is. Apparently, I can land it without flaps. That's pretty cool. I'm okay with that. I'll take it. All right, let's power her down. Such a cool and quirky little bird. I mean, look at it. It's just absolutely nuts. Let me straighten up my camera view here. 
It's just crazy. Pilot looks interesting. Obviously not an Asobo pilot. Although, you probably could get away with an Asobo pilot. No, maybe not, because of the way the seats are. Yeah, that might not have worked. So, you know what? I'll let you slide on that one. Pretty cool bird. Pretty weird. Pretty unusual. Pretty quirky. Still reminds me the hell of a Rebel X-Wing. I mean, look at that profile right there. You can't tell me that's not an X-Wing with a prop on it. But yeah, I love it. Alright, expect a full review coming at some point in time in the near future. I'll figure out where I want to fly, or maybe I'll just come back here and do the same thing. Either way. Yeah. <laughs> I'm loving it. Alrighty, folks. I'll talk to you all soon. This is Bell Geode signing out. Ciao.